Hey y'all, so today's video I'm going to be doing my June favorites. Yes, June favorites because it's been a minute since I did a favorites video and I've been loving some of the same products but I've also like started loving a lot of new products too. So I wanted to introduce you guys to a lot of things to, you know, maybe help you out in case you are looking for something. So, or you're like me, I watch these videos just so I know what I can go out and purchase or maybe I'm on the fence about something. So they like it so then I get it and um, I'm going to be drinking water. My throat is like super dry. I don't know why but it is. So such it is. Let's start with primers. I've been loving two. I got these a while ago. They are the Smashbox and they're mini primers. We went to Atlanta the end of May and my sister decided to get a sample of this one because she was watching a video and she was just like, yeah, it was like, like her, the girl skin looks so good in the video. I want to try a sample and I was like, oh, well I have it and I have like a lot of samples of it. But for some reason, like I've never really like liked it. So I was like, well, I've already got a big version of it. Let me try it and see if I like it or not. So I tried it and holy crap, Batman, it looks amazing. Like the two of these together, I put this one all over my face and then this one is the pore minimizing one and I just put that in my T-zone area and y'all, like I don't, I've heard about the glass skin thing but my skin looks so flawless with these two products. Um, I did break out. I don't know if it was because my brushes were dirty, the foundation or this but I just I tend to have sensitive skin so I'm wearing it again today to kind of test it out and see and I'm wearing the same foundation so if it was the brush because the brush was dirty then we'll know at the end of today if it wasn't then I'm gonna have to figure out if it's the foundation or if it's the primer so I do like these but if you have sensitive skin I would just you know be a little cautious because if it is what's breaking me out then I don't want to tell you guys go get it and then you you know break out so that's that the next thing, since we're going to go in order of face application, are my foundation combo. So, I did a review on this foundation and on its own, I do not like it. My sister, again, we went to Atlanta and Amisha tried it and she was just like, I was like, what are you wearing on your skin? And she was just like, it's the L'Oreal foundation. I was like, but I hate it. So, I was like, well, I really love the True Matte Foundation. Like, I just, holy grail status, okay? I need to go get a new bottle. I really need to re-up. But, um, so I was like, well, let me try the two of them together and maybe this one being matte will cut the oiliness of this L'Oreal foundation. Y'all, like, I wore this makeup the other day and I just happened to, you know, I just happened to be glowing like a goddess. Like, your girl was on, was on goddess level glow. And I happened to see my ex and his new girlfriend and it felt really good to know that I looked amazing, okay? It sounds a little cocky, but I don't care. I looked amazing and it was thanks to these two products. So, you know what? For that alone, they get to come in my favorites. But no, I just really like the combo. It lasts forever and ever and ever. Like, I think I put this on at probably 6.30 in the morning and at 7.30 at night, it was still going strong. So, like I said, I like it. That also could have been what was breaking me out, but we're not going to go there, so... These two foundations, um, I am in the shade Toasted Caramel and Hazelnut for this one. So, that's that. I have one concealer and that's just the L'Oreal Infallible Wear, which I have loved since it came out on the market. Um, I have this in the shade almond which to me is just like the perfect highlighting shade i use it underneath my eyes and i always like darken it a little with another with another concealer just so it doesn't like super bright but you guys this concealer is like it's like tart but you know how everybody like cancel tart so we kind of been looking for alternative i think this is a really good dupe for the shape tape or shape tape concealer and I really like that it's affordable it is kind of pricey to be a drugstore item but I feel like the way drugstore items are shifting like a lot of it is going to like the 10 to 15 dollar range you can pretty much expect to start paying that for drugstore pro products except when well because you know they they cool but anyways so this concealer right here full coverage doesn't crease it's amazing Alright, so the next product I have for you guys is the Fenty Beauty Powder. Um, this is what, the setting powder? 
instant touch instant retouch setting powder mine is in the color cashew so i watch makeup by shayla and she posted the products that she uses so i happen to screenshot them and cashew is the color that she uses and we're pretty much like the same color so that was the color i got and i got it in a mini to see if i liked it and again you know like holy crap batman amazing goddess status like it does not crease it is flawless it's lightweight it's not cakey like y'all this product this one was $20 but you get a lot of product and this is the mini version of it which I wanted to get the mini because I buy big products all the time and I'm just like I'm never going to use all of this product so I got the mini right before we went to Atlanta and it's amazing like it's everything everybody said it was I know I'm late to the game with that product but if you've not tried it yet and you want to try it get the mini version I promise you get a ton of product you will not likely use all of it especially if you're not like an everyday per makeup person because I'm not an everyday makeup person which is why it takes me so long to go through products but that's a whole nother product all right so that product I love Next, let's go on to face. This is just making its way back in here. I don't think I will ever find a highlighter that I love more than this one, to be honest. Because I tried my old highlighter that I was like in love with, obsessed with. It's Anastasia um, Glow Kit Powder. And I still ended up going back to this one, even on top of that one. Because I was just like, I don't like the way it looks. So this is like holy grail status to me. Bonus that it's a drugstore item, but holy grail status. I have three mascaras to show you guys. The first one is No Stranger to YouTube. It's the Voluminous Lash Paradise. I have mine in Waterproof and it's in Jet Black. I love this because it stays on. I have a lot of issues with transfer and looking like a raccoon at the underneath my eyes because my lower lashes are really long and so whatever I put on them tends to transfer down to my actual like under eye and I look like a raccoon don't like it it's not cute so I put this on over top of whatever mascara I'm working with and right now it's this one which I'll talk, talk about in a minute but I put that on top of the other mascara and I just love it plus it really is like a dupe for the better than sex mascara nothing tops better than sex for me but this is like a really really good dupe and I really like that it is waterproof it is hard to get off though. I will put that disclaimer out there. It is a pain in the butt to take off. Alright, so the next mascara I want to talk about is this one right here by Believe Beauty. So this is a brand that just came out at the drug, not drugstore, at the dollar store. So Dollar General is where I got mine from. And this mascara, you guys, it's called the High Definition Skinny Mascara. Look at that wand. Look at that wand like it is amazing it's so great for getting your under eye or your lower lashes and also just for if you want to put on a simple coat of mascara this right here is like the best it's and it's so affordable i think it was like four dollars for this mascara so i really like it i don't know about the staying power because i always mix it with another um mascara but i do like it for what i need it to do mascara all right, so the last mascara I want to talk about is just this one right here. It's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. And this is also making its way around YouTube or it has made its way around YouTube. I think some people are like kind of love it, kind of hate it. I love it personally. It is the best mascara. One of the best. Top five top five mascaras I have mine in like a black brown because I like using it on days when I want to just kind of have a natural look so super natural beat not a lot going on I don't want my lashes to be like jet black so I'll put that on and then if I want to make my lashes look extra long then I'll just put like the L'Oreal Voluminous just on the tips of the lashes and that kind of helps to make your lashes look longer than they actually are so pro tip if you didn't know that you could try that all right, moving on to palettes. First one I have is this one right here. It is so cute and adorable. It is the Violet Boss Creme Brulee. And it just looks like this right here. Do you guys see those colors? How cute are they? Okay, so we bought this. I say we because my sister bought it for me as a birthday present before we were going to Atlanta. And I like it. I have some cons to it. Like, I don't like that there's not any um, transition colors purse like that I I really love but I do like it I think it's so cute the packaging is adorable and I kind of am obsessed with Violet Voss because I really want to get her taupe 
palette and the um it's another one i can't think of it but i will like put it on the screen when i remember it while i'm editing probably but this right here like the shadows are so pigmented you guys like i should probably have been swatching things for you guys but what if all right so that's two of the shadows how pigmented is that though how crazy okay how crazy is that and that's just one swipe through so imagine putting your brush in there or even throwing some um some water on it to make it pop oh my goodness y'all that palette did not come to play they had i think three other types but i'm a neutral girl and i know i would get the most use out of this one right here so this is one i like i really just like it for the shimmer colors because like i said there's not a lot of transition colors in there for me but that's okay because the other palette i've been loving is this one right here it is the Profusion Nude Eyes Cosmetics, and it has a little divot right here where my nephew decided that he wanted to try and put on some makeup. So, anyways, y'all, I use this palette on my eyes today, and it's just, like, I love it. It has everything you could possibly need, okay? You've got your black, you've got dark brown, you've got your red brown, you've got your nice warm tone brown, and then I use this other brown here, like I mix the two of them together to get a nice crease shade. But y'all, this palette, hands down, I think it may have been, it may have been $3, 3 to $5. Like I know I didn't pay over $5 for this palette, but I love that it has a black in it because I always like to travel with a black eyeshadow just because I think that using it to make a smoky liner is just like the cutest thing ever and it's low effort so if you're not good at making eyeliner you can just or wearing eyeliner and doing creases doing you know all that stuff you can just use a black eyeshadow and fake it till you make it plus you can use like this dark brown right here to just kind of thicken your lashes up like you know i could go on and on about why i love this palette but i won't just know it is so cute it's so affordable and it's sturdy plus you get a brush and the brush is not bad either but it's really sturdy so you don't have to worry about like if you're traveling for summer vacation you don't have to worry about it getting like smashed up and losing all your stuff it's good okay it's good plus it's super affordable so if somebody does crack one of your shadows you can go replace it without breaking the bank because trust me that sucks okay it sucks so bad all right so that is all the products I have makeup wise. Let's talk okay. about. So, last two products I have for you guys are kind of weird. Um, so, don't judge me. But if you are into organizing your life, I have really is three things. So, the first is if you're old school, a journal. Like this one I got from Walmart and it was, I think, $2. And this one just says, Every Moment Matters. I have probably 10 of these. Okay, because every time they come out, they come out with like five or six at a time. So I buy all five of them. And I just love it for writing down like my to-do list for the day. I like it for writing down ideas for what I want to put in my planner shop. I like it for just any, like just brainstorming things. It's perfect for that. So I keep that in my bag. And then I also keep this little packet of pens and pencils and highlighters. Because I never know what I want to write with. So I just keep those in my purse with me so that I can just write ideas down. All right, so the last two products are just these right here. These are staples in my life. Actually, these are not the last two products I lied, but I'm gonna show you guys the, my last product. So these two right here are staples in my life right now, okay? This is the Apple Pencil First Generation, and it's actually all white, but I have this little um, silicone koozie on it because it makes writing so much easier. And then this right here, this case, how adorable, right? Like, if you don't want anybody to know what you have inside, get this case. It came from Amazon. But you open it, and it's the iPad. I'm sorry, my ring light is blinding you guys. So then you open that, and then I have right here my planner. So I have a digital planner. <coughs> sorry. I created it on in, um, Keynote. I made my planner in Keynote and then I uploaded it into GoodNotes. If you guys are into digital planning, there's like a whole bunch of videos on it. If you're interested, I will do a separate video on it later. But I don't want to like bore you guys if that's not something that you're into. But basically, it's like a planner, but it's on your iPad. And the best thing about this is if you download it, of course, like I'm all Apple. I'm team Apple all the way. 
So anything I do on my iPad reflects on my phone. So if I forget my iPad at home for some reason, I can pull it up on my phone and see what it was that I was planning that day and all that good stuff. So I love digital planning. I got this for my birthday. It was like the one thing I was just like, listen, don't give me anything else. I just want an iPad and the Apple Pencil for my birthday. And it has been one of the best gifts ever. I have started like making my own digital stickers and making my own notebooks and stuff. And I've even put that like created a shop, which I'll link down below if you're interested. Again, I don't want to bore you guys with that. But it's just super great because you can, it even like has a, a notebook like a digital notebook so I can copy what I write here into my digital notebook so again if I lose my paper notebook I still have all of my notes digitalized so I wish I had been into this when I was in college because I just feel like it would have made my life so much easier to have a iPad at the time but for some reason I was just like I got a MacBook I don't need an iPad and I was wrong okay I was wrong all right, so the last product I have is actually two products, but I don't want to show you my the one I'm using right now because it's dirty and I don't want y'all to judge me. But it's this right here. So this bag, before y'all judge me, um, it is a Louis Vuitton dupe from a company on Amazon called Daisy Rose. I will link them down below in the description box. But this bag, like how cute is this? I'm saving this one for winter because, you know, I just feel like this this brown just screams fall so that's why i'm saving this one but i ordered it in white too see it's it's full that's why i don't want to show you guys it's got stuff in it but anyway so this is what it looks like in white and i love this bag okay i love this bag it's so roomy and i'm gonna go back to this one and show it to you guys because again i don't want y'all to judge me inside so it's so roomy but it's not got like too much room like I don't want people thinking that I'm just like it's big but it's not overwhelmingly big like my coach bag is so I can fit my notebook I can fit my iPad I can fit my laptop in this bag but I still can like see the bottom of the bag and see everything I have in it and that was one of the problems I had with my coach bag is that I just like the bigger the bag the more you want to put in it to fill it up and then you just get lost and that bag is like perfect size i think it was fifty dollars for one of them so i think it was 50 each i think i could be wrong but i will leave them down in the comment in the description box so you guys can check them out they do have an issue with like stocking and keeping them in stock but if you sign up for their amazon not amazon but their um what is it called their Instagram, they always announce when they are relaunching them. So definitely get on their Instagram post if you like the bags because they are so hard. Like they sell out so quickly. It took me a month after I found them to actually get them purchased and like to my house because they sold out so quickly. But that's neither here nor there. Anyways, alright you guys, so that concludes my June favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to keep doing more videos like this. Let me know if you any of these things tickled your interest and you know want to know more about it. But I will let you guys go because this video is probably already hellaciously long. So, 